Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. These two teams have largely separated themselves from the rest of the conference. Now the chance to separate from each other and claim the top spot in this league. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Marshall is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. And for these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. He's taken down at the 24. The Bulldogs always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. McPherson to punt. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick pass. They'll bring him down around the 21-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful at their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. Second and six. From the 18-yard line, third down. Quick strike to the receiver, and they make the stop at the six. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. He's tackled at the seven. That is a loss of one yard. That brings up second and goal. Come on, baby. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got the money. Let's check. Play the eagle. Play the eagle. Play the eagle. 
He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it 30 goal. He's in trouble, and they got him. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Marshall is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Cardinals came into the game ranked 13th. Many said they didn't deserve to be ranked that high. That performance would say those people were right. There's been an upset. The Bearcats pull it out by a field goal. In another game, the Cowboys came into the game ranked 14th. A hard-fought and disappointing loss will cause them to slip some, but not too far, one would think, in the ranking. It is all over, and once again, we find out there are no foregone conclusions in college football. The Sooners prevail by 13. You can feel the shockwaves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. The Bulldogs are one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. He's taken down at the 22. Marshall's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And down he goes at about the 21. being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. This is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And he's hammered down. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Marshall is up a field goal. Brought down around the 38-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Slings it. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. He'll get the call again. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Marshall! Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he adds the extra point. It was a quick three play, 53 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 10 0. They line up to kick this one away. 
Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Marshall's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he hits him hard at the 33. Scrambling around. He's at midfield. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. So you've got a guy who's not only liable to beat you with his arm, but with his legs, too. That is a tough quarterback to stop. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down around the 27-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. There he goes. He makes his way out to about the 12. Give. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Well designed play to get the half back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Marshall has a three-point lead. He can't hold on to it. Johnson, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's to the 40. Knocked out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Well, that was a perfect time to call a screen pass there by the offense. The defense had pinned their ears down. They were coming after the quarterback. They were out of position. The quarterback waited just to the right time to drop it down to the running back for the big play. And he throws right away. Interception. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time, and they got him. From their own 31-yard line. Third down. Oh, 
fires it quickly. Henderson was the intended receiver on the play. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Johnson, the return man. Brought down at the 31. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. On the ground, inside. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Marshall is up by three. And he is drilled at the 41. Tight end, incomplete. Boy, that was a rocket. If the receiver didn't come down with it, quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it either. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He makes it to the 32-yard line. out to about the 32-yard line. That makes it 37. Nice run there. Good awareness by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short. Pearson is waiting for the snap. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. Receiving team. Holding penalties can really Still kill momentum. Down. But sometimes, if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19. Marshall holds a field goal lead. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number 15 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. Come on, you one eight. Gets it out in a hurry. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 19. We've played one quarter. Marshall leads 10-7. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Williams awaits the snap. And he has it on the corner. Abraham fields it at the 39. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. 
He's scrambling, and they get the sack. This kid just doesn't stop. That's his second sack of the game. For this offensive line, it must feel like they're going up against an avalanche on almost every play. This guy's putting up some really good pressure on him. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. And they make the stop at the 49. Number 31 with the tackle at the 49-yard line. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's at the 30. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Call it again at 27 yards. First down. They come out in a five-wide set. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Quick pass, tackle at the 16-yard line. Baxter on the tackle at the 16-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Tackled at the eight yard line. Number seven brings him down at the eight yard line. That makes it first and goal. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of six yards. That brings up second and goal. They're at the two. Second down. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he converts the extra point. Louisiana Tech to kick. Johnson needs to return. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. He's taken down at about the 31. That'll make it second and seven. Yeah, five left, five left. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Hand off on the counter. They'll bring him down at the 41 yard line. it out to about the 49. to about the 43. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. Number three. Green and eight. Green and eight. Green and eight. 
Here's a counter to the right. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. scooped up and it's a lineman that's got it and down he goes at about the 45 He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and it gives him a long field to work with. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Louisiana Tech is up four. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. They line up at the seven. It's second down. Nice run up the middle. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. Third down. Scramble. Dives for extra yardage. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Tackle made around the 24 yard line. to scramble, but he's sacked. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. 19 yards. First down. Louisiana Tech is up by four. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. And he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Fourth and long here after the sack. Johnson is back deep to return the punt. And he can't hang on to the ball. Tackle at the 26-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They give to the tailback. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. 
That brings up second and nine. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Louisiana Tech's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 29-yard line. Third down. Let's it fly. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. He's got room here. Brought down around the 40 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's on the run. And they push him out around the 19 yard line. yard line first down Marshall's going to use their first time out of the half here a quarterback in the gun with five receivers Tight end's got it. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Off we go to get you an update from Monroe. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. The Raging Cajuns walk out with a seven-point win. Separated by a field goal here, Reese. 17-14 in our game. Williams gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. It's second and 13. Ball on the 22. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's level at the 23-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Right, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Makes it to the 31. Marshall will use their final timeout. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Johnson was the intended receiver on the play. 
That makes it second and ten. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Marshall is up a field goal. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're Still in a third, third down. down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. From their own 41-yard line, third down. And they make the stop at the 44. right to his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. From the 31-yard line, first down. Zips it left. And it's intercepted. And who else? It's the freshman safety. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. it out to about the 13. So he turns the counter into a nine-yard gain. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. A great first half comes to a close. 17-14, Marshall. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nestler. Does it get any better? I can only hope that Nestler and Herbstreet will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Marshall holds a field goal lead. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's got room. Tackle around the 46-yard line. That's a good seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Here we go. One eighty. He 
is hit and taken down. sack they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that third down now and they need to get it down to the 38 throws it to the halfback on the screen he gets hit out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. Marshall is up by three. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. Watson, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and Second ten. down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. This is the 10th play of this drive. He's looking for six, and it's intercepted. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. from their own 20-yard line. It's first down. Scrambling around. They bring the quarterback down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. McPherson is waiting for the snap. Johnson fields up the 48. Tackle made at the 36. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. The best way to move beyond a turnover is to score. And when you can start on the other team's half of the field, you're in really good shape to have a chance to do that. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. Marshall has a three-point lead. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. That'll make it second and long. Third. 
from the 26 yard line. It's second down. Caught open field. They'll bring him down around the 15 yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That'll bring up 36. is out to the tailback on the screen. And down he goes, right around the 10-yard line. Gain of five yards. That makes it fourth and Fourth inches. down, and the offense is still on the field. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Right. Tackle made at the 14-yard line. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. They line up at the 12. It's second down. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Number seven takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 12 yard line. That makes it third and 11. Quickly, he's got the tailback on another catch. And he's taken down right around the 18-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. McPherson is the punter. And down he goes at midfield. We're about set to start things up again. Marshall is up a field goal. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up second and nine. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. it out to about the 16. Point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. Hey, check right 45. Check right 45. He throws it. Leaps. Picked off. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. The halfback with a carry. Decent run here, right side. Game seven on the play. That'll make it 35. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Brought down around the 39-yard line. Some two on the play. Fourth down. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He takes it in at the 14. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. Game of 13 on the play. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 45, check by 45. And he's immediately tackled. Number 31 with the tackle at the 48-yard line. First down. Makes it to the 37. That's three down and one to go. Marshall's got a 10-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring the third and two. Makes it to the 17. On the tackle. Gain of 12 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 17 yard line. Right 
The 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. Called a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. And he's got room. And he has it on the corner. Great play by the halfback there to find his way into the end zone. Again, the offense goes with the option. The defender can only pick one player. And this time, he can pick the wrong guy. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he hits the PAT. A nice eight play, 74 yard drive. And the result, seven points. McPherson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. Oh, man, he took him down hard. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Marshall holds a field goal lead. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 23. Just throws this one away. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Let's go, let's go. He wants it all going long. Through his hands. Not a very impressive set of downs. The quarterback just doesn't seem to be throwing very confidently. That'll make it fourth and ten. Abraham is back awaiting the punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Abraham takes it at the 32. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. The Bulldogs have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's pushed out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Almost six yards on the play action. Brings up second and five. Complete. He's got room. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 43-yard line. Of six on the play. First down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play. Second and 10, ball on the 43. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Go down, go down. Mike three, Mike three. Bumble, bumble, bumble. They'll get him for a loss. We'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 28. And he's tackled at the 16. Gain of 12 on the too play. Too easy, too easy. First down. Hey, right, Roger, Roger. Go down, go down. Five to the 
The 10. Tackle around the seven yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. After a decent pickup. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, and they take the lead. Three rushing touchdowns on the ground today for this young man. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice 10 play, 54 yard drive. And they put up seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Number 15, Central Time. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. With it being a one-possession game and over two minutes to go in this game, there needs to be some urgency from this offense. But at the same time, you can't panic. You can't force the issue, let the game come to you, but have some urgency to you to try to give yourself a chance at a touchdown here at the end. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled right away. Six-yard line. That makes it second and six. He makes his way to about the 32. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 32-yard line, second down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Set, wide 80. Wide. Let's go. Quick strike, and he drops it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's at the 20, and down he goes at the 12.
great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 68-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Oh, man, did he take a hit. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Catches it, and he's punished. Makes the reception. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. They're about four yards away here on third down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it first and ten. the middle for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings up second and five. They come out in a five wide set. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. That'll bring up third and six. Pops free, and who's got it? One of the defensive linemen, and he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Screen to the back, and he can't hold it. That makes it second and ten. From the 27-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 80 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Ready. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Number four takes him down behind the line at the 27-yard line. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kick is up, and it's good! And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 34-28, Marshall. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Louisiana Tech's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Under heavy pressure. Heading for the corner. 
Brought down at the 25. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it second and six. On the throw, incomplete pass. Henderson's the intended receiver on the play. Third down. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. Just under two minutes in the game. He's on a run. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Chucks it downfield. So the play of the day. Fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. They run it left. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. Louisiana Tech just took their first time out. We're down to just a minute in this game. Nice run there. The Bulldogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. That makes it second and six. Key 15. Key 15. Here we go, G. Well, with that score, now it's up to the defense, and they're well aware that maybe one stop and they've got a victory. Well, they're going to try for the two point conversion. Under a minute left. <laughs> He's got it for two. Williams ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Yeah, they're dialing up some good blitzes, disguising them very well. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. And it always helps your offense when your defensive teammates are playing this well. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Works the middle. He's got his tailback. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Flags are all over the place and they'll blow it dead. Ball start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second down. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 36. Grabs it and he might go the distance. Inside the 30. He's tackled around the 29 yard line. 35 yards. First down. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky, lucky. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. He threw that to a guy who was well covered, and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. So it's second and 10. Ball in the 29. Half 
backs got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at the 24. Martin picks up around five yards with that catch. Easy, easy, easy. Delta! Delta! And that sets them up with a first and goal. Louisiana Tech's out of timeouts. That makes it first and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. Swings it out left to the halfback. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Marshall 42, Louisiana Tech 28. The Bulldogs 28. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.